Hey, True Believers, England Teen here, and I am with Back Issue Brain. Got that right this time. And uh, we, we've we got an interesting topic today. I think um, I want to talk about something that I've read recently, and it's been ticking me off. It's been ticking me off ever since I read it. It's in the Joker War. Batman loses his fortune. Now, in the story, which I thought was really stupid, um, Catwoman steals the money by using his uh, his Batman's codes, and then somebody steals the money from her, which I thought that was dumbass because w- Batman would be smart enough to have like changing passwords, and you know it wouldn't be the same from hour to hour to week, you know, so forth and so on. But let's get past that. Catwoman stole. She was doing it for Bruce Wayne, but there's nothing that any of those bad guys did that are out of character. There's nothing that Catwoman did that was out of character. And what we're talking about today is how modern day writers are destroying characters by not writing them in character. Uh, Right now with the Batman, they've got him poor. Okay, they wanted to strip Batman down so he didn't have all of his gadgets that he had to rely on his wit and basically kind of return him to the Batman of old to a certain point. But... I want to go to another character, Eric, Mr. Breen, Mr. Back Issue, Mr. Back Issues. We uh, we are of a certain age. The uh, there is a side character that I've always enjoyed. He's even been in the movies played by the 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 great Morgan Freeman. His name is Lucius Fox. So Lucius Fox, a trusted advisor to Bruce Wayne, gets all of Bruce Wayne's money, and instead of going, well, it's not our money. We need to give it back. He freaking keeps it. And what's worse is Bruce Wayne's okay with it. I do not like that. There is nothing, nothing in that exchange in to, that sits well with me. Lucius Fox should have returned the money and then insisted that, no, it's yours here. Now, that could have been easily remedied by Lucius Now, I know he was under the influence of Joker toxin or something like Mm -hmm. that, and he may not be playing with his full faculties, but he could have said, you know, Bruce, this is not my money. It's yours. You know, here it is. And Bruce says, you know, people have been getting too close, and this is a wake-up call. I want you to be the public face of, of my fortune, and... I will, you know, we'll work out some kind of back channels to where I can get what I need without it becoming too obvious because, uh, uh, but and on the other hand, what difference does it make who he's hiding it from now? Apparently now the Joker knows his identity, so who doesn't? So who yeah. is he really protecting by having Lucius, you know, keeping the money, but not, not giving Bruce that choice, which is how the book kind of read, that, that, that's ridiculously out of character. It's it, it's horrible. It's it's not in my opinion. I have lost I have lost respect for the character of Lucius Fox the way they write it. I, I it, it reminds me in the two thousands where they did the same thing to Leslie Tompkins. Remember in the uh, the war war series they had her war games. responsible. Yeah, war games. Thank you. They had her responsible for the death of uh, of Stephanie, mm-hmm. the, the Stephanie Robin. And um, to me, it it messed up the character of Leslie Tompkins. Leslie Tompkins has always been the, uh, she had always been the the pacifist of the group. So to have her do something like that was was absolutely immoral. I mean, it was, uh, for the character even, it was was just absolutely wrong. And I was real shocked that they were willing to ruin the character for a story. Well, they also ruined the character of Stephanie leading up to that point. Because she did, she put some things in motion that basically caused war games. Because they, I believe at the time, now, now you're going, you know, inside the numbers behind the scenes, I believe they were doing a lot of this to stick it to Chuck Dixon by messing with his characters and everything he created. Yeah. But for the context of the story, you brought up a good point. Leslie Tompkins, she went from. You know, the, the kindly old woman that was there when Bruce was shot, that they retrofitted into continuity 
in Detective Comics 457. That's the book that introduced her. And over the years, and it happens, again, it's like when you start a sentence at the beginning of a classroom, by the time you get to the last person in the last row, none of the words are the same. Once she's passed through the hands of dozens of writers, she's not even a reasonable facsimile of who she was at the beginning. The same is it can be said of Lucius Fox, who started out as basically Bruce's business manager, and he became the CEO of Wayne Enterprises. But then over time, and I don't know if it was because of the movie, he they, they just, he became basically anything any writer wanted to attach to him. Yeah, now he's Alfred, except for he's got the money. He stole Bruce Wayne's money. Um, and that I'm sorry, well, but that is the that's the way I see this. Apparently, according to Nightwing, Alfred was siphoning a bunch of it. Yeah, there you go. I haven't read that issue yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> um, right now, there are a couple of things going on, and we're going to talk about a few of them. Uh, right now, a lot of people are mad because there's a panel in a Superman comic that says truth, justice, and tolerance. I'm like, yeah, that's that's kind of in there in the justice area. Um, the tolerance, of course, anytime you speak out of people, well, don't you think justice? Don't you think uh, Superman is the tolerant kind of guy? Like, well, hold on. Let me let me back this up and tell you uh, if you have made it this far and you don't realize why that's a bad thing. Um, it, it's not a bad thing for the word. In all honesty, it's a great word. It's a very good word. And it's a word that would have worked well in the 80s. It's a word that would have well, worked well in the 70s or even the 90s. But it's a horrible word today because of the fact that uh, it, it carries to today a, a modern day definition. Unfortunately, words today do not are, are not defined in the same way as they used to be. Uh, Nazi, racist, those used to have very well uh, defined, uh, well, I was about to say, well, defined definitions anyway they, those were well defined i should say but they've lost their meaning anybody now is a racist anybody now is a nazi who does not agree with the leftist ideas especially when it comes to identity politics so to say you're tolerant doesn't mean that you're accepting of all other people or all of all other cultures to say that you're tolerant now modern day in the year of our Lord 2021, and I just offended people by saying in the year of our Lord, Good. that tolerance does not mean the same thing. So when you have uh, truth, justice, and tolerance, what it can be read as is truth, justice, and following the leftist uh, idea of identity politics and uh, governance. And that is where you have a problem. If at all it actually meant what it meant uh, if the word tolerance meant what it meant in the 80s, uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, and so forth, and I'm only going by the uh, by, by the years I was alive. But uh, if it, if at all it meant the same thing, then it would have been great. Okay, fine. It's just another. It doesn't need to be there because truth, justice, the in the, in the American way is absolutely uh, acceptable and wonderful because the American way is the uh, idea that you are an individual, not a part of a group doesn't matter what color you are. We need to treat you as you, not as one of many. And it also means that you are free to start at the bottom and, and go to the top. That's actually the American dream, by the way. Not to have a gajillion dollars in the bank, not to have the uh, blue house, uh, the picket fence and all that kind of stuff. But the American dream was that you could start at any point and raise yourself to the top. And tolerance doesn't mean that anymore. And that's why I've, I've got to go on that. And that's why by saying that they are diluting the character of Superman. I've been on my soapbox for about five minutes now. Go, Eric. <laughs> I say, okay, the, the people that are changing the language are also trying to reshape the country into their image. Yeah. When does that, when, when have they succeeded to the point to where they can go back to saying truth, justice in the American way even if it's their America as they see it, is it ever going to get to that point? Because one of the one of the th the problems is these the, the people that are they're putting their beliefs into the mouths of the characters don't believe in American exceptionalism or American individualism. But are they ever going to believe in America enough to use that phrase again? 
And I'm saying probably not. It's 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 weird that you know that this country that they profess to be so flawed and so damaged that we can't even have our flagship character say truth, justice in the American way, even though it's still the country that everybody wants to come to. Mm, yeah, no, but I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know how that, uh, how that all works, but uh, it just, it, yeah. And that, that's a great point. I said, yeah, tolerance it, it, in today means acquiescence. Yep. You have to just go along yeah. with whatever the people that make the decisions for the, collective and yeah it's going to piss some people off Un decide yeah unfortunately we cannot have this conversation about how characters are being ruined without talking about a character that you and i have confessed to not seeing for 15 years and uh probably this is the worst of all as much as i don't like what's going on in batman the fact that i haven't felt like i've seen captain america since he got a bullet in the head in the 2000s it's it's something i think this is a character i was going to bring up captain marvel because in their attempts to make captain marvel the most important uh hero in the marvel universe they've diluted what ms marvel was to the point of unrecognizability and unlikability just look at how many times they've tried to start up a new series with captain marvel it just tells you nobody's interested anymore while ms marvel was an exciting series that people were actually enjoying but it's Captain America that Marvel has done worse than I believe even DC is doing to Batman right now or Superman right now. And they had freaking Brian Michael Bendis writing him for two years. <laughs> I think Captain Captain America um, is probably the most misunderstood hero, but the most simple to understand hero of the Marvel Universe. And I'm, I, I'm also somebody who believes that everybody gets Fantastic Four wrong. Fantastic Four, you hear this all the time. They're the Marvel's first dysfunctional family. No, they're Marvel's first family, period. Sometimes people fight. doesn't mean they're dysfunctional. It means sometimes they argue. Sometimes they fight. doesn't mean that they're a dysfunctional family is not, oh, we fought over uh, whether we were going to have uh, peas or green beans. No, that's not dysfunction. And Fantastic Four isn't dysfunctional either. And uh, I, I see Fantastic Four dragged through the mud. Reed Richards been dragged through the mud. Everybody now is smarter than Reed Richards. Uh, Reed Richards has never cured the Ben, ben Grimm bullcrap. He's done it many times. And many times Ben Grimm has gone, well, I guess I got to be the thing again. It's his choice now, gang. He needs to own it. But, the, but when you get to Captain America, when was the last time we had a Captain America that loved this country? I would say during Brubaker's run, although it wasn't as rah rah as you might have seen it under you know Mark Grunewald in the eighties mm -hmm. into the nineties. Yeah, it is. It, he's pretty much taken the majority of the twenty first century off, and it's the the best way to describe how bad it's gotten for Captain America when the writer that's doing the best job on him is Jason Aaron. <laughs> you have a problem. Yeah. And I said, it, 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 if you're going to have the patriotic, I mean, he is literally the, if not, I mean, figuratively the flagship character of Marvel, because he is the character. He's the moral compass of the Marvel universe when he's in the hands of someone who truly does not like America, and I would say does not like white people, that's a problem. And yeah. it's and it manifests in his writing. The fact that he was given years to, to write that comic, that is also a problem. And this, this goes back to something that we've said for a while. If they don't care, why should we? Why should we? Yeah, we're now to the point to where I I don't care about Captain America as as a current comic book character. But then again, I don't care about any of them as current comic book characters because I I just I don't care about the you know, modern comics anymore. Yeah, that's unfortunately the end game, isn't it? Uh, if you're if you're destroying 
So if you're, and I hate this word, but I'm going to use it. If you're systematically destroying your, your characters, then why, why are people going to give a crap? So why are they... The one character I'm kind of enjoying, although I did not buy the last issue was written by the guy that turned Captain America into a Nazi. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, uh, are my standards so low now that I'll go, yeah, but he's doing a good job on Spider-Man. At some point, you yeah. and, and, and to his credit, he is. But it's it's hard, again, it's hard to, it's hard to point to the couple characters that are being done well when so many other characters are having anywhere from serious to irreparable damage done to them yeah now i don't i i guess i shouldn't say irreparable is a strong word because all it takes is one good writer to come along and fix it however marvel's got to allow that or dc has to allow that writer to come in and do it and i'm just not sure that's in their plans at this point i don't see it um there was one thing when we were part of a group and uh we, we were talking about what we wanted. Everybody would say, oh, we want good comics. We want good comics. And I said, you got to change your language because in all honesty, Marvel believes they're giving you good comics. But I say, and I know you say, all you got to do is check out the books of the past and compare them to what you're getting now to know that, no, they're not. And Tom Brevoort and a lot of people working over there are old enough to remember when Jim Lee was the standard and now you got freaking Erica Henderson being the standard. It is, that is not an improvement, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's what we think about this, or at least a few thoughts. Cause trust me, we could probably go hours on this one a little bit more in depth than to some of the characters we mentioned too. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you haven't done it already. And, um, uh, if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Ko-Fi. Link's in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep making videos for you. like thank everybody who's already done that. like thank Eric, Eric for joining me. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Good night, kid. Hey, True Believers England team here with Back Issue Br God dang it, I do it every gosh darn time. I've got to stop that. Back Issue Breen. <laughs> Over here. I know, right? I just got to remember it's the opposite hand because I want to, because I'm looking at you and from my angle, you're you're there. But if we're doing this, it's right there. Okay. Anyway, anyway so uh, hi, Eric. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. And All you? Right. Uh, can the beef come out and play? So anyway, we're <laughs> we're here talking a little bit. We 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 uh, donkey. <laughs> we'll fix that in post. Yeah, let me try that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Game face, game face. Uh, um, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, all right. Game me, me, face. Me, me. Uh, Oh, uh, Peter Parker picked a peck, but it's not Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it doesn't get any better the older it, you get. It doesn't, does it? Hey, Jeff. All right. Hey. <laughs> uh, Don't even think about editing this. I know, right? Yeah, no, this is going at the back of the video. I wonder how many people realize that after the credits, I do put this kind of thing in there. Anyway, hey, Troop. <laughs> One, two...